Hello and welcome to another Nico Media tutorial. So today we uh, answer another question of a patron, and today we will do this here from. Uh, oops, do, 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 where we are here? This every time the same with uh, Mr. New Resolution. Uh, this is from 3D for designers, and yeah, the patron sent me this one and ask me how to do this. In the first case he wants to know uh, how to subtract this part here from the sphere. And for this we use the Cinema R20. But uh, for people who don't have R20, uh, I will give this the result of the volume builder here. I will give this, uh, I convert it and give it free for download. So you can follow this uh, texturing thing later on uh, without R20. We do need just R20 for the volume builder thing here. And after this I make some uh, texturing and so and uh, it will be quite nice I think. So I th yeah. And uh, I will warn you it could be that this will be a little longer one because there is a lot to uh, for a lot of settings we have to test and to try. I made just a very quick try, and uh, but nothing more. So no more texturing or something like this. We do together. Okay, uh, I would say let's start. Why not? So what we need is just a sphere and bite out something of the sphere, and that's it. Okay. So let's have a sphere, a sphere, 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 sphere. Good, nice sphere. Then. I put this sphere in a volume builder. So as I said, if you don't have FR20, you will get the file, uh, the, the, the result of the volume measure later for download and you can play with the texturing and that you can do many more with this later. So uh, yeah, sphere and volume builder. Volume, volume builder, I hold the Alt key and boing, volume builder is here. Sphere is a child of it. And for the sake of speed, we start with a low 1.5 here. You see we have these ugly edges here. And we get rid of this. And we go to a sphere, it's a here, perfect primitive, please. Boing. And we get this. Next step, now we have to bite out something. And this we do with the shader field. We put the noise in the shader field and bite out the noise. Then. So. Uh, create a shader field. Field and shader field. Good. In this shader field, I want a shader noise. And if we put this now in the volume builder, take it under the sphere, and you see we get something immediately. This is not what we want course I want to subtract here so subtract and this looks more than like let's go here to one that should be still fast the voxel size eh? okay and next step this is of course not the uh, the noise I want so let's go to the shader field noise and I want to take a Gaussian noise, I think. Gaussian. Let's wait a little bit and yeah, it's okay. But this is far too small and so I would say we go to a uh, thousand should be fine here. Okay. And this, yes, this, this looks nice. Good. But to have this even nicer, of course, we would have to go uh, smaller. Even in the final render, or the final, before I convert it, I go down here to, let's say, to 0.3 or 0.4. Uh, let's see how it looks with 0.5. This could take a little while. If it takes too long, I will break, of course. And uh, I make a break and let it calculate, and then I'm back. So, but with 0.5, we should get a quite decent result. Let's see. It's 
calculates and okay we are here it looks not so bad let's bring this volume builder in a volume measure volume measure you see here and i have the volume builder selected alt click alt key on my keyboard and click on it and a to hide the mesh you see we get a really nice thing here but i want more uh, more detail in the noise so how we can get this this is for this are these uh, octaves responsible so when i go up with the octaves let's say go to 10 here let's see what we get it needs a little to calculate of course and da, 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 da. let's see if it shows us yeah see much more detail much more detail and i will go crazy and say 20. Ba -dong. let's see what we get now wait a little bit yes yeah, as, as i said we have to wait in this tutorial a little bit but uh our patience will be rewarded. <laughs> so, yeah, we got some more detail. I like this. It's not much more difference between 10 and 20, but I'll stay with 20 now. And you can imagine, we have now a really nice result. And when I go down then with 2.3, with the voxel sizes, we get much more result. And this I don't need more. This this is all I need to play with it. So okay, I will go to point three, and when it's calculated, I will be back. So let's make here uh, something like a snapshot. So I go to my render settings. Let's make here a new render setting, just for the hardware render hardware so and 720 here so we have a sphere uh, a square render and do i need anything here just hardware open gel let's make it with a S sao options you see we get more details out and open gel ssao we want some anti-aliasing that's all we need here and current frame output is okay. And that should give us, so I click somewhere, hit shift R. It, cal it calculates, of course, now it, it is, we have a lot of, of uh, polygons, so we have a very high dense mesh. And this calculates a little bit to before it can render. But we have, you see, now we have here a snapshot. Okay. And now I go the volume builder to 0.3 and we will see us in a second. If I don't crash, uh, I, will, I will save before. So you see I saved the, the empty file already as destroyed sphere. So I just save this. And now I go to 0.3. Chuck. And we have to wait. I look and watch now at 12.6. Let's see how long we need. Okay, be back in a second. Okay, I'm back and you see we have now much more detail. This looks great. And it needs, you see, almost one and a half minute or something else to move with 0.3 now. And this now I will convert the volume measure here. And I will go to current state to object. You can right click on the volume measure too and current state to object. Boing. And we have here our volume measure now. So we can deactivate here everything and I put this let's see if yeah we have everything here and the volume measure I put it in the backup folder okay bye bye and this file you will get uh, if you don't have R20 you will get this file and with, with this we can now work we can texture and we can do whatever we think, every we, whatever we want. So you see, we have a very really nice, this, and 
I show you the mesh to you how high dense this is with NB. I bring back the and you see how high dense this mesh is. You see this is black when we go away. So Okay. Good. This is a very nice thing. Save it and continue. Let's see this is see. Oh, volume mesh is a good name for it. Uh, what I don't like is this one here, this this uh, flowing thing here. So I go to the point mode, volume measure is selected with zero on the keyboard. I click the rectangle uh, selection, be sure, only select visible elements is off. And I just select all this and delete it. So done. Okay, that's it. Let's start. Yeah, I will show you the, the texturing with Octane and with Physical Renderer. So I start <coughs> with Octane because uh, simply it goes faster. And when we have a nice uh, result with Octane, we will start with the Physical Renderer part. Good. So. The first thing I want, I want the right, so when the x axis here, so I want the x axis to be behind here, so okay. And then I want it on the floor level, so I go to here. And ah, this is the tutorial layout here, I don't have my. So I have to go to plugins and drop to floor too. So this is in the uh, description of the video, you will find it. Uh, plug in here, it just drops the thing to floor. So, good. Now I make an octane camera. So, for this, I have to bring in my octane dialog here. <coughs> Let's go to oh, here, okay. Oh, no, it's the bed. Yeah, somewhere here, okay. Uh, the, 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 the first I want to render with, uh, uh, I have here path tracing, you see, maximal sample is 516, we need a specular depth, depth here, so 16, every other thing is, should be fine, 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 okay, save it. Next thing, I want uh, a camera set camera so and set it up how I would like it so something like this here okay give it a protection deck I have it here this is a small script I wrote so, so you can yeah, I wrote this is too much I record it and uh, you can download it in you will find the link in the description as well and so now we have this next thing we need we need a texture environment and a HDRI environment. This is our background. So, and take it here to visible environment. Okay. And this is our HDRI for lighting the scene and for reflections. And here I drag in oof, an HDRI, of course. I have, I have here RGB spectrum. Uh, image texture is exactly, this, <laughs> it's exactly the wrong thing. But up here, make this the background. I could change the text too. But and HDRI. So, okay. Save it. And let's bring in a Shift F8 for the content browser. This is materials, we don't need the materials at the moment. Outdoor, let's see what can we take. What would be nice? Uh, let's, don't know. Let's take some, some road here. Yeah, we can change this every time we want. So take this road here and drag it in. Bing. So now let's see what we have. 
first I go here to Octane Render. Yeah, this is just I, I put this uh, on my hat. This is nothing else but this Octane Render here. This is the thing. And if you want this the same here in the hat, you can go to Shift V. Shift V, you can go to your viewport uh, settings and here in the hat you can set everything up you want. And you see here is the other render settings. If I look at here, if I disable it, whoops, it's away. If I enable it, it's here. Okay. So now we should see something. But first I wanna rotate this. I make here, I put this in a null this volume mesh and I rotate the null so, okay this could be nice and now I rotate volume mesh I bring here the, the world axis so I'm have have it straight here and bring it up here this could be a nice spot here. I would only have to, to track. Now bring the nile back to zero here. And just rotate the volume mesh. Okay. Something like that could be nice. The next step is I want a hire over this whole thing here. So um, what I make, of course, is a simple sphere. Let's make another sphere. Boing. And the sphere, bring under the volume measure, because now I just say a reset PSR. So it goes exactly to the center of this volume measure. So reset PSR. And we have it exactly in the center of the volume measure. Now I give it under the volume measure. If you don't have reset PSR here, you will find it under in the character deck under commands. Uh, or in somewhere here it should be or not. Yeah, if you don't find it, you can make it very easy. Yeah, because maybe it's here when I bring it down here, but I don't think so. So character deck commands. I never will find it, but it's very easy to find it because you can hit Shift C on your keyboard, and you get this command line here. And here reset PSR, and you see here you have it, and then just double click it. And if you want it in, uh, if you want it in your toolbar, just hit Shift F12. Search here for reset PSR, reset PSR, oops, PSR, and you drag it just wherever you want it, and you have it in your toolbar. Okay, that's it. So you see that the sphere is a little too small. I wanted to. That it's almost the same size like the volume builder here. So let's try 101 here in this size. Oops, not 1.1, 1 .1, 101. And this should be fine. Give it 150. Okay, this could work. Good. Let's make this sphere here an x ray so we see it. So and we want the glass hull here around. This is nice. And now let's texture with octane. We need a normal, f f don't have to be glossy. We need a normal diffuse texture here for the volume builder. This is the volume builder. And drag it on our measure and for the thing here for the hull i need a transparent material of course so i go to my i released uh, recently a new, a new version of my texture pack 
for Octane and Physical Render. Uh, but you can do it yourself, so you don't have to need uh, to do have it. But I open it, so this could take a little. Uh, and here, I take this water do here. So this is from my pack here, and download it. And you will see it's not not really. Well, it, it's this nice thing. Let's open it in the note editor. Yeah. Okay, I don't need the absorption here, I want to use a different thing. Every other things are okay. This this turbulence is just for the bump a little bit. You can do it with a noise or something else too. You don't have to use the turbulence. This is just... Uh, I'm not sure if you use it, we will see it. Reflection is should be clear and roughness should be clear too. Self-explanatory. And this is white here and bring it on our sphere. Let's see what we get now. Let's make this with the options viewport rendering is off, this is okay. You get something like this. This is not what I want. <coughs> so here I am wrong. Visible environment, and here we can we have to go to primary. That looks much better. You see, we have uh, already a quite nice thing here. Let's bring this. Let's bring this a little bigger here. Let's deactivate the tag here in the C axis. Okay, that should be fine for now. And what I want, I want a floor. So let's bring this down here. We dropped already our sphere to floor, so this should be nice. So as a floor, I use a simple disk. Boing. Make the disk big. When I say big, I mean big. Yeah, uh, that's uh, 2000 would be enough. And a uh, material for this for the ground. This is a very simple one. We need just a shadow catcher. So I make a new material and a diffuse material. Name this ground. So don't forget to save in between sometimes. So don't need an no editor for this, go to command, just shadow catcher. And this I drag to my disk. And I see we have an infinite floor and we are happy. Uh, next step, this is to write. The so I go to my background here, RGB spectrum, and let's see, let's try to 50% here. Okay, maybe 40. Yeah, 40 seems fine. And you see, we, we get already a nice, interesting look here. But now let's play with the glass, as well as with the water texture here. Everything is fine so far. But it's little... I want less index here. 1.1 1 .1 or 1.2 should do it here. We'll try it with 1.1. 1 .1. So I see more detail in the inside now, yeah? On our ground, uh, not on ground texture, on our volume builder texture, to see even more detail, I bring in here in the diffuse a dirt map. So I bring in the dirt. Dirt node, not dirt map. And we will see boom, much more detail. So the radius, I want less radius, but stronger. So a bit stronger. Okay. And I want the radius, to, let's see, point 0.2. Okay, this was a little too less, point 0.5. Okay. 
Uh, more of a detail. That's almost too much. Yeah. yeah, here you can do it however you like it. But I think it looks quite nice. Now I want the inside of this sphere a bluish. So how do we do this? Go to our water texture or glass texture, whatever you take. You see, it's it's not really not complicated. As I said, instead of the turbulence, you can take a, whatever you want, a noise or something else. So it's, it's, it's just for our bump here that we see some bump. Uh, now, in the medium, I want a scattering medium. We have here, you see, we get now the inside dark and the outside not. This is exactly what we want. Here we are, we are on white. Then now, I want in the absorption, I want another RGB spectrum, which should be this bluish color. Uh, something like that, maybe. Bring it to the absorption. Okay. In this scattering, I'll give it a float texture here. And a float, but the float is set, I set to zero for the moment. Now, go to here and say to the density, we go to quiet. Um, here, so. The density I go uh, down to one point or to two. Let's try to two. And now you see what we get. We get this bluish inside with a white outside. And this is exactly what I want. And it look <laughs> it's the, it's already looks great. Did not think that we get such a nice. Really, I like it. Uh, what could we do more here? How does it look when I... And I know Dana don't need it really, but we can try to give the sphere a little... Uh, uh, so this is the height, let's say this is the height. To give this a little thickness, so we can do this with the... Simulate close stack. I alt click on it, so close surface. I don't want subdivisions. A thickness of one. Let's see what we get then. Okay, we lose our. Insert. But what I see is interesting. You see here something from. From the. Uh, sky here. Let's rotate the volume mesh a little bit. We see, we see something with the time. But we lose our bluish curve. So let's hide the curve. And I go with the index here of the, of the transparent material. When I go to one, I should see the thing here. I should see the sky. Or not. Let's think about. Somehow. Hmm. <laughs> What is when I go to the cross surface and say minus one? Hey, it looks not bad too. You see, this is where it starts to be interesting. How can I bring this? Everything is nice here. But here maybe we can play with the face. 
does this something? Here I have to test myself, so... But I already think it looks really nice. 1.8 here. That makes it a little brighter here. Uh, let's see how we could... Now I start to play, of course. Everything. Okay, this is but it's okay with with this I mean put the cross surface again on. That looks nice, that looks really nice. The thickness does not matter I think. Minus point one. Yeah the thickness does not matter here. The scattering is let's go here to zero. And what down is the density? But it looks very nice, I think. But how does it look better? I think it looks better without thickness here <coughs> for this particular one here. So, and if you want to make this a little foggy, maybe go to the scattering here to the flow texture and see you get a little more foggy but now imagine how nice this looks if you put in here some I don't know some trees or some plants or something else that looks great ah uh, but still want to see something from the go to the uh hgri and rotate it a little bit you see we see the background here but it's okay for me like this so the here you can start to play your things and i hope again you guys show me what you do and more and more people show me the result and I'm really happy about this. Thank you very much for this. Look at it, it looks great. And uh, what can we do else? I'm I'm happy with this. I could not say what I want now. Yeah, the next... Yeah, maybe, maybe a little bluish reflection. We can play with the film with here. Reflection is here to full, yes, this is okay. We could make a reflection here when we, instead of the float texture here, we take a RGB spectrum. Right, this is the same now we like, we like before. But when I go here now to a bluish tint, You see, I get bluish uh, reflection, which I like. Yeah, but I think we can do this with uh, the film width to take a flow texture for the film width. Yeah, and you see, immediately we have this nice. Yeah, this this this, this I like this this bluish shine around. This I like very much. So we are with the flow texture to 0.5. And if you go down, let's see, you can you see you get different colors here. However you want it. 
think this is even better. Yeah. Okay, I think this is a nice. So point one is okay. This is nothing. Okay, now point one. Nice, but point five was nice too. I think so. Point five. I like this point five one. Okay, let's make this whole thing a little brighter. Go to the image texture power. That's a two maybe. Oh, this is too much, but point five. Why not? Maybe here. Maybe. Well, like that. Oh, this is all too bright. This is. Something like this. I go back here to one. And go up here. I want you. This can be. This can take a little longer. This tutorial, because there is lots we can do. So one point two. Okay, I think this is now what I like. And now I want to try some different in the water texture here I want to try some different indexes. With one we get this this is looks nice too with a little high. But here we should give the volume builder some uh let's go to the volume builder here. We have now here a diffuse material. If it change this to a glossy material you see we have our glossiness back and we have this hull here with one this is nice but go back here and get the glossiness plus the index here what do we get then nice but I think it's nicer when we go to volume builder here and if we take the index of the glass or water whatever I go to the RGB spectrum and bring down here the the zero because I have the glossiness from the from the high here, so I don't need the inside glossiness. And I think this looks better. So, and if you want uh, an index of one, one just this, then you can go here up to white, 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 and white, 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 and you get your glossiness on your volume builder. Don't forget that you still can play with the dirt node. So my tolerance maybe. It looks great too. <laughs> here you almost can't do anything wrong. So I think here we can stop and we can say we have a really nice uh yeah we have a really nice result here. Let's go a little down with the index here. Let's see one point oh one. And now we start to see in the background that looks nice. You see the background, the the uh, clouds. You see. Yeah, that's great too. Something like this looks great. And here I can come back to the volume builder and bring back a little glossiness. 
And maybe I bring a little bump inside here too. So I can go to my water here and can uh, copy this note here. Control C. Go back to my volume builder. And Control V. Bring this to here. Oops. Drag it in the pump. And we have a nice little bumpy. This is my result. This is great. This is my result. Save it. Okay, we have the first picture with uh, with uh, Octane. <laughs> with the physical renderer, I don't think that we get something like this. I'm honest, I don't think we get it like this. But we will get uh, a, simi no, a similar, another result, but for sure we will get a nice result. So let's determine it here. A little back then. Is the power better? Yeah. Okay, I save this, and now we make the same thing for the PR. So stop it here. Okay, okay, okay. Stop it here, here, and now I save. What's wrong here? So I save this for and see you are now the PR one. So I delete the, the everything here what I don't need for Octane. So I uh, for, for the PR, don't need this, I don't need the disk here. The camera tech I don't need. I say it is you are the camera and not the Octane camera and save it. We are ready to rumble with the PR. Low GI. Low GI. GI means we need exactly the same. We need an HDRI to light our scene. We need uh, yeah, everything. And here we can, the Nicomedia scenery comes in handy, of course. And the scenery is inside. And the Octane ring, rig, by the way, is. Uh, Really, I'll just wait for the for the uh, final version four for the for, for the stable version four. So and then if the stable version four is here, I can test my rig if everything works, and then you will get the new one. And yeah, so we start here. Okay, 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 okay. We need exactly the same. We need a normal uh, diffuse material for. So just the color for the. Volume Builder, VB, VB, and then put this on the Volume Builder, and a transparent material, just transparent, reflectance, here nothing, transparency, we start with 1.1 here too. And put it on our halalal. So, in the HDRI settings, we will use the same HDRI like in the in the Octane render. This was this one here. And let's see what we get. So, this needs a little longer to prepare because of the high dense mesh. So. When when uh, Octane has it uh, calculated once, so, so it knows what to do with it, and then to take it. But here not. But okay, we have something. Is we can work. I think. Here we have the. Yeah, I don't like it. Here is better. I think we do it with. With the thickness, so let's activate it. Wait a little bit. Okay, yeah, this is nice. We have the nice. This I already like with the nice uh, 
clouds inside itself. Now we have to see how we can get uh, the color inside. So let's first try it without thickness. So, come on. The next thing what I don't like, I don't want to see the, the floor in the reflections later on. So I go to my background and floor here and say floor scene by reflection and turn it off. This is the first thing I don't want. What I could do here now to, 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 to don't see this here should work when I say a scene by refraction of that should do something. Yep, it does something. But I do this for the moment. So and I just want to try now to, to come to get some color inside here. And this we do is the absorption color normally. So we have here a white color, this is okay. And I want a bluish So this alone should help us. Let's see. Yeah, what did I say? It helps us. <laughs> okay, this is, it looks great. And now what could we do if I go with the absorption here? If I make this brighter, this doesn't really help, I think. So because we are quite dark inside here, but this is okay for me, so this is I have no problems with it. First I go to the floor and want to make the floor a little less bright. So let's say to 75. And this should make our background. Yep. Uh, here in the HDRI settings, we can try to go up with the light intensity a little bit, but I don't think that. Let's see what this does. Yep. Nice. Was a little too much, I think. 125 should be fine here. Okay, and if we go up here with the 250s, we should, we should be brighter in the background later on. So not really, it just takes away some colors. Okay, let's go here to 50. So we should get more color inside. Whoop, yeah. That looks nice. Great. Look, this nice, this nice transition here. This, this is really nice. And the reflectance, we can. We are good to go, I would say, but we can try to give it here a little more reflectance. Let's see if it does something. Yeah, it does something. And a little bump. Let's go to the noise. Nice, 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 nice. And yeah, I could yeah, yeah, I could take the water texture. I could take the same water texture as we had, in. because uh, of course every uh, in the texture pack everything we have it for octane we have here the same. So water two is here as well. But now we have it already here. So. That, uh, don't need it really so we did it by ourselves this is not the nice texture for me so I want here something like a gorgeous with two or no gorgeous not FPM FPM should be okay and bigger let's see what we get I want a little bump I want inside. So it's 200. It's <coughs> not bad, but too much. Yeah, this is okay for me. 
maybe I want a little more contrast something or not so so let's find another one turbulence is so displace turbulence I go here to world doesn't matter I think but so displace turbulence how does it look Russia. Blistered turbulence. Give it him more. Get up to five. Or even to ten. To make. Let's see if it does something for us. Mm -hmm. Not bad, but maybe more. Da, 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 da. It doesn't show up or anything like that. Let's make it heavy. Bye. Yeah, I got get some nice. Yeah, this is not bad. This is not bad. Look these nice details here. I like this. Yeah, I like this. This is done with we make a different render. We don't make the same like in the physical I like not the same like in the octane render. We make our own thing here now. I like this here. Okay. And uh, let's see what we can do now. We have here some things uh, adapt adaptive should give us more reflection. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> yes, I like this. And as I said, when we go here down to 20, we should get more uh, color. Look at this. Okay, I, I totally like it. I totally like it. Okay, I'm happy with this one. I save it. But now we will try to get back our uh, clouds here. Before this, we, we activated the cross surface here but then we lose everything which is not so hard let's try to get back everything so I go yeah minus one it makes not much difference I think it makes here a little difference. It's not, it's, as I said, it's not the same like, like in the uh, octane right. So that looks great too. It was just the, 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 yeah, on it. But let's bring. Let's try to bring in the. Uh, not no. How what does this when I go under one? Let's see because the preview looks great. Okay, this is not really what we want. So, but what I want is 1.05. Okay, now let's try to get back to the sky here. Uh, I was okay. The first we try to get, to get back our bluish color. Uh, now we have with the gloss surface we have a thickness and and now we have to go with the absorption here this is for the whole sphere the absorption now we have the absorption just for the thickness so if we go down here the thickness is one centimeter so we should be under one here so I go to minus uh, to, to, to point uh, let's see I start with one, one, 
0.1 get the map. Let's see what we get. You see in the preview we get very blue color. Okay, we have this. This is not what we like. But we need now not so much color here. We need almost no color here. So I want the bluish color, yes. And I want the full contrast, yes. But I go to the, with the saturation to maybe five or less. And it's getting better. Situation two. And we yeah, it's a little tricky. Point oh five. That's not really what I want. And when I go to point oh one here, good. Then let's go to one. But then I lose again my my color inside. I think. Yeah. This is a little tricky. I don't want that everything is blue. I just want the inside bluish. You know what I try? I try it. I try it not with the gloss surface. I delete the gloss surface here. So this is delete without children. So you can do it with right click too. So we don't have this. Now. So. And instead of the cloth surface, I take this uh, pike. You will find the link in the description. The extrude generator object. I'll click on it. And I see here minus. I'm in plus, so that this will be an outside height. This is not what I want. Let's see what we get. But I want minus one here. And caps. So this does almost the same like it is the same like the color surface. But again, point one here, or point oh five. Here is one point two. Hmm, how can we Ah, maybe this the sphere is too big. This could be go with the sphere to one hundred point five. One hundred point five. Ah, uh, it's getting brighter, it's getting brighter, 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 brighter. Huh? Oh, <laughs> this is a th oh, good. Thousand two is a little too much. Hundred <laughs> point two. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, 
and we are done. I knew it should work somehow, and that looks great. But the bump on my water here is too much. Oh yes, you have to drink here. That's nice. But I want some bump, so let's get here. I copy the bump from here. Copy it and bring it inside here. So now the inside should be bumpy a little bit. Bring me some bump. I want some bump. Bump, 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 bump. Ba -dum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Let's try it. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Okay. I do not really see a lot of the bump here. This will be, will be because of the height, but it's okay for now. I want. I wanted to try to see the thing, the, 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 the clouds, 1.05 again. That looks nice. I want to give now here our uh, little reflectance here. This could come very quite nice. In the here, da, 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 da. we have here everything, but we don't get our. Ah, yeah, of course. I I de deactivated scene by refraction. This should give us something. Much better, much better. And we have our colors, we have our clouds, we have everything here. Man, this looks great. This looks great, yes. I love this. Now let's give here a little more bump to uh, 30. Don't be shy. We want a little life in our whole scene here, so life is bumpy. <laughs> And a little more index here, uh, maybe even two. Nope. Uh, this is uh, two is maybe too too much. One point one. Okay, and how does it look when we give it just one? We get proof. It's not bad too. It, you can do whatever you want here. It looks everything looks nice. <laughs> this is so great. Like always the absorption, you see this nice. Like always the absorption here. 
2.3, so we should get a little brighter out uh, high. So the white should be a little brighter. No, nah, not much. But uh, we can try to go down here. A hundred will be too. A hundred will be too less, I think. But we will see. Yeah, it's totally white, but yeah, but it's okay. But we are now under the level of here, so we are not on the same level. But it doesn't matter. Here it looks great, and this looks quite nice. Yes, I like this. Why not? I think I will go with this one. Maybe one point uh what we had one point oh five so <laughs> let's see yeah, that makes that much difference it makes it a little more bluish and that no I stay with hundred uh, a thousand one hundred I said but again so, no, it's not so hard. Yes, 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 yes. And now let's see what we can do more, maybe. But I think this is already quite nice here. This is, we have a very nice thing. What we don't have here is now is something like a dirt map on, on this we can work here if we want but i don't think it's it's necessary uh let's hide this for the moment uh, hide is this one so we should get everything without but we have with the ambient because we don't have ambient occlusion in the in the in octane render so this uh, it's ambient occlusion. You see, we have enough. We don't need a dirt map here or something else. We have enough uh, uh, to see here. But maybe it's a little too, so we can do one thing. We can even give here in the, uh, in the uh, ambient occlusion. So we get more ambient occlusion. So. Of course, the first one. So let's see what we get now here. Oh, what we have to say, please effect uh, luminance. We don't have luminance. So the uh, reflection, maybe uh, specular. We don't have. Let's see if we get some. Get something. That we get difference. Yeah, it's definitely darker now. But the max ray length we give to one. And the contrast we give to 100, which is just for testing. It's a little heavy, but. And I deactivate in the render settings the ambient occlusion. So we can better see what we get. This looks better, I think. And now we can see here five. Let's see what we get. Yeah, we get much more detail now, see? So I yeah, that's what I want. But what I don't want is I want this when I, when I now activate the ambient occlusion in the render settings, everything will be, will get a little too dark. I think. Let's see. Yeah. But what we can do is 
can do maybe is deactivate it for the floor and everything and in our as far as I remember I have here on the background floor an ambient occlusion just for the floor I ambient occlusion and this ambient occlusion should work just for the floor Yeah, now we have the floor and here. Now here it's nice, bright, have the, our ambient occlusion and here on the floor we have our normal ambient occlusion. So it's, don't have it activated in the, here, in the, in the all over settings, but here, this is nice. Okay. Maybe it's a little too dark in the background so I can go here up with this color a little bit so I just want to get some more details but we have it details enough normally so yes and now activate the again do, 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 do. and I think we have even with the even with the physical okay. render I love I still love the physical render you know it all we have a nice thing with the physical render Maybe here we can <laughs> we could play again with the we have a film with two here so but no don't we don't over overdo it I think this is not really maybe a little more. I don't want roughness here this is oh he yes I don't want yeah maybe one or or here yes let's do here a little roughness but not here here I don't want roughness Let's see Ta -da. yep I'm really satisfied with this Looks great. <laughs> Happy as can be. We have a nice bump here. With a nice gas, and of course we can play with other. You can just take another uh, HDRI, and then you get a totally different. You should get a totally different result. So let's get into the HDRIs here. Outdoor and don't know. I would here. Strong, bring it in, and let's see what we get now. Wait a little bit and be surprised. Boing. <laughs> okay, here we should play with the rotation or something, but. Let's bring this in. Look at this nice detail. So, so. You have the trees in the background here. <laughs> okay, this is a little crazy. But try it anyway. Now it's the stars in the background. Let's go to the floor and disable the floor. And make the HDRI visible for camera. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Good, okay. I'm a, li a little childish sometimes, but you know me meanwhile. But this is not what I like. This is, uh, I like to be childish, yeah, this, this I like, but this is not what I like. So. <laughs> Beach. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. On the beach. <laughs> Why not? So, but here I want now. Not seen by camera. Bring back our floor here. Chuck, chuck. You see how nice this works with the scene rig. And look, this looks nice. Let's rotate a little, maybe we get some nice background here. So, HDRI, we are happy with the HDRI, we are happy with the light, so. Bring, bring in the preview here so we see what we do. This looks nice, bluish here and here and here. Here, very nice blue. That looks like underwater here. This, this is nice. Give it, uh, maybe a little. Sometimes it's funny with the rotation vertical. I use it very rarely, but we have the sun here. Green and 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 blue and everything. This is, is great. I think this is a nice one. Okay, this is the part. So this, so we can do it with the physical render. And I hope you like this one. I I, I really like this one. So I love this one. This is a really nice thing. Here it's maybe a little too shiny, maybe too bright, so let's try to just deactivate here the reflectance, maybe that helps. Or the adaptive setting you can identify from the from the high. Let's see this. But you see it already helps when we go down with the reflection. We don't have to deactivate it. Just go down with the reflection. Reflection strength. To maybe thirty. Or we stay here at hundred and try here to just deactivate the adaptive. Let's see let's see the difference. First let's render it like this. Ba -ba 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 Okay, and now it's out adaptive. We just give a little much, much less. This is not bad here because otherwise it's too heavy here with the sun. Let's see. Ah, but it looks not bad. No? <laughs> it looks totally not bad. No, this is okay. Unfortunately, we cannot uh, give in a. Uh, uh, a value for the adaptive setting, maybe with the, nah, with the texture.
but it's okay. We try. Maybe we can do this with the color here. Multiply. What do we get here? Yeah, this has nothing to do with the. Uh, this has nothing to do with the. Uh, <laughs> but it's still, it's still nice. <laughs> okay. Play with it, guys. Play with it. Play with it. Play with it. Because uh, there are so many nice possibilities. And uh, I really hope you, you again show me your results. Because here I'm sure you, you do very nice things. Well, it's when we st <laughs> when we start a little with the luminance here. No, not not here, not here, not here, not here. Here. But not thirty. Yeah, now it's everything much brighter. This, uh, here, this is nice. This, this is good with the luminance. This is this is nice. But maybe it's a little too much. But I wonder. Okay, a little luminance, I play with it. This is without luminance, Let's see? Yeah, it's it, yeah, very dark in the background, but a little luminance, just 15%, and we get the uh, details on the, from the dark parts back. And we have the still details because in our ambient occlusion here affects the luminance. So that's it. Yeah, okay. We are done. This is my result for the physical render part. So I hope you liked this one. And next tutorial will come. Uh, I don't know. I hopefully and maybe. An Sunday or something else. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, but it will come soon, of course. And yeah, as I said, this was a question from a Patreon from a very nice guy. And uh, and yeah, if you have questions, if you have uh, requests, if you have complaints, please write me. You can reach me almost everywhere on the internet. So uh, on. Facebook, homepage, uh, email, Patreon, f Instagram, what, whatever. I don't know. And Behance, not so big. Behance, I don't like to really. But uh, so, and uh, yeah. We are on. Yeah, and, 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 and. You know this is all these sentences. So, and now I d don't want to see the preview here. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, patrons of course can download this project files later on Patreon. Uh, patrons uh, from five euro and above, they get everything. So uh, I will upload the the, the the yeah come on the octane thing, octane pre project file with and without uh, the volume builder. So with with converted volume builder and without one converted volume builder, and I will upload of course the physical render part with and without uh, volume builder. Good. So that's for it now, and yeah, I wish you a wonderful day. We have here in Austria a day off today. I don't, don't know. I think it's almost everywhere. It's Alla Heiligen. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, have a nice day. Please show me your results. And if you want to donate, uh, you can do so. Please look in the description. You will find a PayPal link. Just, yeah, if you want to invite me for a beer or a coffee or a beer. And, 
if you want to support me on Patreon, you can do this also. You will find the link as well in the description. And that's it for now. We have one and a half hours tutorial and I hope it was not too boring for you. And yeah, <laughs> bye bye. I wish you all the best from here from Vienna and say tschüss und baba.